All right, this is a quick video to go over the um, Y belt adjustments in case in case these get messed up. Uh, like other users did when uh, they printed to the boundaries of the of the bed. Um, the uh, ribbon cable got pinched probably against here. I've seen the ribbon cable get pinched against these uh, uh, bearing holders this this side here. Um, so I'm planning on putting a covering over this and whatnot, but um, anyways, so in order to adjust these belts, uh, I had one one off on this side and I fixed it by, uh, well, first off, so, so on this portion, these belts just push in. This is just kind of a retainer with some teeth in it. And so one side will need to be pulled out so this one is the drive pulley so this one will not move uh, and you need to slip the uh, the amount of teeth over that one uh, and this this other side is the idler so what you want to do is probably if your belt tension has been good for you make a mark uh, I used a silver sharpie or a bronze one or something and I marked where it was. See, I had to go one tooth more. So I marked where it was, and this allowed me to uh, figure out where I needed to go. And so uh, using like a spudger or something, I just pried this out. Now my machine's kind of taken apart mostly, so I don't have the plastics to get in my way, but you can pry this out and that will loosen up the slack all the way around the belt. And what you probably want to do is push it all the way forward. And then uh, when the top is loose here, you can uh, kind of push it and make sure the, 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 the extra teeth go over that. And then when you pull it taut, make sure that you're that many teeth off from where it was. So this allows you to incrementally figure out uh, where you are and how far you need to go. Um, so this is a kind of a hard system to fine tune and manipulate, um, especially for like tensioning. This is the only tensioning mechanism. And I found that the springs that they use actually cause more oscillations and vibrations. So I'm gonna be replacing the spring with uh, the printed tensioner that's adjustable because I still have this side the belt is stretched or my whole gantry is longer and this belt is actually looser than the other side so I have a little bit of kind of oddities with the acceleration um, but uh, what I did find that really helped me when I put that in is I needed two hands uh, needed a spudger to you know press in one corner and then while I was holding the other side with some pliers and pulling as tight as I could get it. And even that is still not tight enough, but it did get it close. So holding one side, undo that, pull it through and push in. Uh, it's, it's easy to kind of angle in this front first and then push in. And then you can use the spooger or, or other tool that's not going to cut or damage your belt to push push it in and I hope that this helps you adjust your uh, Y gantry belts on the uh, GD Tech X-Max.